friends, I hope you are all having a magical day and welcome back. If you are new to my channel, hello, I'm Miranda. Nice to meet you. <laughs> In this video, I am going to be talking about everything you need to know about Disney's Magical Express, which is the complimentary motor coach transportation that takes you to and from Orlando International Airport to a majority of the Walt Disney World resorts. If you are interested, let's stay tuned and I will let you know everything you need to know about Disney's Magical Express. All right, so without further ado, here we go. Okay, so like I said, it is a free service that is offered to Walt Disney World Resort guests. Now, it does take you to a majority of the Walt Disney World Resorts. It does not take you to Disney's Swan or Dolphin Resort, which that's not, it's not a Walt Disney, it's on Walt Disney World property, but it's not a Walt Disney World Resort. That's another story. Also, it does not take you to Shades of Green, which is the military resort on Walt Disney World property, but all the other Walt Disney World resorts it is free to take from orlando international airport and to orlando international airport if you fly allegiant into sanford i am sorry magical express is not there <laughs> okay some tips you need to know this service runs 24 hours a day seven days a week it will always be running so don't worry about it if your flight is ever delayed if you have really weird flight times doesn't matter you will still be able to take Disney's Magical Express. Again, you can only take it if you are a guest on Walt Disney World property. You cannot sneak on to the Magical Express. Don't do it. Just take an Uber, take a Lyft. Don't sneak on, you can't. Also, the really cool thing about this service is that it's able to transport your luggage for you. So you do not have to go to baggage claim. There are a few instances where you do, so stay tuned. They're able to take your luggage for you from baggage claim and deliver it directly to your room. So that's wild. All right, so how do you sign up for Disney's Magical Express? Great question. If you have an awesome, super cool, super magical travel agent, they will do it for you. All you have to do is send them your flight information. You can just be like, hey, I'm on Southwest flight two. <laughs> going to Orlando and flight eight coming back. That's all you have to do. Or you can even just forward them your flight confirmation. They'll take care of it for you. But you can also do it yourself. It's a couple extra steps, not a big deal at all. The easiest way that I find is to go to DisneyMagicalExpress.com. This is where you basically fill out your information, you fill out your address, you make sure all of your flight information is correct, and then you submit the information. I recommend that you do this at least three weeks before your flight. Ideally more just in case because what then happens is Walt Disney World will send you like a confirmation voucher type piece of paper with information and also will send you luggage tags for the Magical Express. So better to be safe than sorry. Make sure you submit it as soon as you have your flight information would probably be the best bet. And then Walt Disney World will send you the voucher and the luggage tag. Now, a lot of the times people are looking for them when they get their magic bands in the mail. No, they are shipped completely separate. And the biggest difference is that these yellow, bright yellow luggage tags will be in the information. Now, if you do book a package through the Walt Disney Travel Company, through your travel agent, any of that, you do actually get really fun Disney luggage tags, which can be confused with Magical Express luggage tags. So if your travel agent is like, hey, did you receive your Magical Express luggage tags? They're talking about these, not these. These no one cares about except for you because they're super cute, except for this, this Goofy's a little strung out in this, but it's fine. But they are asking if you have these because this is what will transport your luggage from your plane to your room. Now they typically do send only one luggage tag per person. So if you are flying and you have more than one checked bag that you want transported on Magical Express, just have your travel agent 
or you call um, Magical Express to get another tag. If for some reason you have not received this voucher or the luggage tags prior to your trip and you were like, whoa, I know I signed up. I have my Magic Man, but I don't have the Magical Express information and I want my bags taken for me. Do not fret. Just go to, once you get to Magical Express, give them your baggage claim numbers that the airline gives you and they will take care of it. Because sometimes if you don't submit it early enough or if Magical Express just something gets lost in the system and they don't send it right away, which unfortunately does happen. Don't fret, take your baggage claim numbers to Magical Express and they will make sure they grab your bags for you. So getting ready to leave. First things first, if you are arriving between 5 a.m. and 10 p.m., you want to make sure that your luggage tags are on. If you want your luggage taken by Disney's Magical Express and put into your hotel room, and you arrive between 5 a.m. and 10 p.m., make sure the tags are on. They're just like, like any little baggage, there's stickers here. Yeah, so make sure those are on your checked bags. Don't put them on your carry-ons because you're carrying your carry-ons. <laughs> Unless you're checking your carry-on, then yes, put the luggage tag on there. So making sure your luggage tags are on your bag if you land in between those times. And then also making sure you have your magic band in your carry-on not your checked luggage. So have your magic band. This will be your ticket onto the Magical Express. If for some reason you do not have your magic band, say you didn't customize them in time or you're traveling internationally and they're going to be at the hotel for you, that's fine. Then just make sure you have the voucher page that Magical Express sends you. So if you don't have your magic bands, not a big deal have your voucher ready. If you don't have your voucher and you don't have your magic band, but you are signed up for the Magical Express, again, just go to the Magical Express desk once you get there and they will make sure you get transportation to the resort if you are a resort guest. All right, so once you get to Orlando International Airport, super exciting, you're on vacation. You then walk, walk, walk to the little, it's not a monorail, but it's kind of like a monorail. It's like their train shuttle system. You take that from your terminal to the main terminal. That's your first ride. Very exciting. You get to listen to Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer talk to you about how awesome Orlando is and you're like, don't care. Bring me to Walt Disney World. So once you get into the main hub of the airport after you get off of your trip with um, Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer, <laughs> there's gonna be one side that's Terminal A with a giant A above it. It's hard to miss. And the other side is B. So you're gonna gravitate towards B and take either the elevator or the escalators down to level one. And you are going to bypass baggage claim because Magical Express has that taken care of for you. So you are gonna head there and you are going to go to terminal B and go down to level one. Super easy. There are going to be a ton of signs. Even when you get off your flight and you're in the little jetway, it's going to say Disney's Magical Express, terminal B, level one. Then you will follow signs all the way past all of the car rentals and at the very end is Disney's Magical Express. Your luggage is going to be directly transported into your resort room, which is awesome. But no, it does take up to four hours sometimes. So pack everything that you need for that day in your carry-on. Just in case, I always pack everything I need for that day plus the outfit I'm wearing tomorrow. Just in case you lose your luggage, something happens. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> but yeah, have everything you need because you never know how long it may take them to deliver it directly to your room. If for some reason you don't want them to grab your luggage, if you're like, mm, I would rather grab my personal stuff, not a problem. Go to baggage claim first, whether you're on terminal A or terminal B. If you are in terminal A to grab your luggage, you'll just have to go back up through the main area to terminal B. So not a big deal. The bus isn't gonna leave without you. There's always tons of buses happening. So if you are more comfortable grabbing your own luggage, absolutely grab your luggage and then head to Disney's Magical Express. Something to note, if your flight lands between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m., you have to grab your own luggage. Again, 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. late into early in the morning, you have to grab your own luggage from baggage claim. Now, baggage claim is on level two. So once you grab it on level two, you either, if you're on terminal B, you go down to level one and then to Magical Express, or you go back up 
across to terminal B and down to level one. Okay, so once you either have bypassed baggage claim or have grabbed your luggage because you get in after 10 p.m. or you want to grab your own luggage, then you've walked, walked, walked to Disney's Magical Express and you are there and you are checked in. Once you're checked in, you are going to get in the line for your resort that you are staying in. So if you are staying at Disney's Art of Animation Resort, you get follow the line that says Art of Animation. The person who checks you in will also tell you which line number to get in, so it's very helpful. Now, most likely you will not get immediately on a bus and leave immediately. You will probably wait 30 to 45 minutes even if the bus is there, once you get on, you will probably be waiting for other guests. Then once you finally leave, it is about a 30 to 40 minute drive, depending, sometimes longer if Orlando traffic is being Orlando traffic. So I always say, if you are planning on doing something that day, allow yourself at least two to three hours once your flight lands to plan anything in your itinerary for that day. Because again, you never know, your flight might be delayed, um, Magical Express may have like just left and you have to wait for another bus, traffic may be bad, whatever the circumstance will be, give yourself at least two to three hours from when your flight lands to when you start planning your magical vacation. Now once the bus leaves you can sit back, relax, they play like little videos, they give you tutorials on how to use like FastPass Plus and your magic band and they show like some fun new things that are happening. They'll show like little cartoon clips, do some trivia, which I'm awesome at. It really gets you in the spirit of being at Walt Disney World, which is great. And then after the bus ride, you are at Walt Disney World. Yay! Have fun, be magical, do all the things. So fast forwarding to your departure from your vacation. Now, this Magical Express ride, we like to call Disney's Tragical Express because it is taking you away from the most magical place on earth. How rude, who does that? So unfortunately, your vacation is coming to an end. The morning prior to your departure, your resort will put a little hang tag either on your the outside of your door or slip it under your door, depending. That's going to give you the sheet that you receive to get on to the Tragical Express going back. I'm just gonna call it the Magical Express so I don't confuse anybody. And this will tell you what time your motor co I can't say motor coach. Oh, I just said it. Yeah. <laughs> this will tell you what time your motor coach is leaving your resort the next day to take you back to the airport. That time is very important. Do not miss your shuttle. Don't, don't do it. Just don't do it. Unless you're planning on running away and living at Walt Disney World forever. Like, then I am on board with you and I will probably come and stay with you. Like, that's beside the point. But anyway, that time is very important. A majority of the time, it is three hours before your departure. Sometimes it's four hours. You don't know. There was one time during holiday season where they made it like it left four hours before your flight. Now that's a lot of time to be at Orlando International Airport, but it's a free service that Walt Disney World offers. So if you wanna take advantage of that, awesome. If you don't wanna to get to the airport that early, take an Uber, take a Lyft, take a cab up to you. So something to note on the day of your departure, you have the ability to do a resort airline check-in, which is awesome if you can make it work. If you have a super early flight, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to use it. The resort airline check-in is only open from 5 a.m. until noon. So if you're able to be there and check in during those times, do it and take advantage of it because it's awesome. So again, it's a complimentary service. It allows you to check your checked bags, and also get your boarding pass from the resort right there before you get on the Magical Express to go back to the airport. Now it is only participating airlines, it's not all of the airlines, but it's Alaska, American, JetBlue, Delta, Southwest, and United. So those six airlines, which a lot of the major airlines. So if you are flying either one of those six airlines, you are able to do resort check-in. These desks are typically located right outside of the lobby, there's a little area kind of by Bell Services. If you go to one place and they're like, oh, it's not here, they'll direct you where you need to go. And something to note, you cannot check in more than 12 hours before your flight or less than three hours before your flight. So keep that in mind when considering doing resort airline check-in. Now, like if your flight is delayed or your bag is overweight or some like nuances here and there, you may not be able to check your bag or check in at the resort. I always say it's worth a try if you have the time, 
try it just in case. A majority of the time you will be fine. Something to note is that you can take advantage of this service even if you are not taking the Magical Express back to the airport. You still have to be a resort guest and you can check in there, but you don't have to take the Magical Express back. Like we took advantage of it last time and we had a car. So even though we had a car rented that we were going to drive back to the airport, we still were able to do resort airline check-in. Now, if your flight is later in the day and you didn't have time to do the resort airline check-in, but you don't wanna like have your bags all day, they still have bell services at the resort so you can leave your bags with them for free do whatever you need to do, go to a park, go to lunch, and then make sure you're back in time to grab them from Bell Services to get onto the Magical Express. And then you're back on the Magical Express and it takes you to the airport and then you're home and you're sad for like six months until you plan your next trip. I'm not just saying that that is science and that is fact. All right, so that is the majority of the things that you need to know about Disney's Magical Express. A few other things to note that you may be wondering. Like I mentioned, you can use it one way. You do not have to take it both to and from. You can decide to do it to, you can decide to do it from, either or, none at all, up to you. If you are traveling with a furry pet friend and staying at a pet friendly Walt Disney World Resort, your pet friend is able to ride the Magical Express as well, ideally on my Magical Express right next to me. But you just need to make sure that they are in their pet carrier and seated in the seat next to you. You cannot have Magical Express take your bags, but then you not be on Magical Express. If you want to have Magical Express take your luggage and deliver it to your room, you have to be on the Magical Express. You cannot bypass that and take a cab or an Uber. You have to be on the shuttle to your resort. Another thing to note is that Magical Express drivers do accept tips. Now this may be confusing because a lot of cast members do not accept tips when you're at Walt Disney World. Most Actually, they don't but the Magical Express drivers do. So make sure you are carrying a couple spare dollars for them, especially if you are having them handle your luggage. I believe tipping is very important, especially when they deliver great service. So make sure you have a couple extra dollars for them in that case. And lastly, if you are traveling with a car seat, you can absolutely bring that on the Magical Express, though they will put it underneath with the other luggage. Um, it cannot go in the motor coach with you. Okay, so that is all you need to know about Disney's Magical Express. I hope I made it as clear as possible. If you have any questions about anything I may have missed or if you want clarification on anything, drop a comment below. I am happy to help in any way I can, but also, Make sure you're asking your travel agent. They know everything there is to know. They'll make sure that you are set up for success so you don't get there and you're like, I have no idea what I wanna do. Because let's be honest, like once you get there, you're on vacation. You don't wanna be stressed out. You don't wanna have to deal with any of the stuff. You just wanna have a magical time. So I always say, make sure you have a magical travel agent to help you with your vacation because they don't cost you a thing. But I will hop off my soapbox for now. <laughs> like always, make sure you please subscribe, like, comment, do all that fun stuff. I come out with videos every other Monday. I love interacting with you guys, so please comment, talk to me about your vacations. Follow me on Instagram, that's where I'm also the most social, at the Magical Miranda. You can also check out my website, themagicalmiranda.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I adore you all so, so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.